Hey guys, and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Coward. If you're wondering what we're doing today, I have the second installment of my prepper pantry. I've picked up a few more items for the uh, kitchen. Then I also had to go by the drugstore, so I had some prescriptions refilled, and I picked up some other things too. Also in this video, um, I ordered some stuff from a new place. It's new to me. You guys might know about it, but I didn't. Called Epicure, I believe. And so I'm going to do open that box with you. And then I got friend mail, guys. So excited! From my good friend and YouTube sister, Miss Karen Jeter. So I'm going to open that with you guys as well. You have no idea how happy she made me. Aha! I just did not know what to do. I went to check my mail at the post office today and I was that was the last thing I was expecting so there's a little excitement and then finally from my last prepper pantry my subbies have been so so helpful they've made some good suggestions and they've given me some good tips so I'm going to give a few shout outs as well okay so I'm going to turn this camera around and we're going to get back into pantry prepping. So come on in and let's do this. Okay, so let's get started. It's not a real big haul, but I'm picking up as I go. I think that's the way I'm going to have to do this. So I, as you saw in my last one, I had gotten some, some soups, but I was low on the chunkies. So I picked up two sirloin burger and two beef with country vegetables and the Campbell's. I also picked up some uh, quick oatmeal that you just need to heat water. I have the regular kind in a huge jar in my pantry that I usually use, but you never know if it's something's going to happen and you need to do it in a quick way. I also got two cream of broccoli. I love cream of broccoli soup myself. I got another black pepper and one of my great subbies suggested that I start buying canned meats for protein and she suggested a ham. I gotta say, guys, being a Southern girl, I'm going to say it again. I'm used to going and buying a smoked ham, bringing it home, cleaning it up, putting the clothes on, putting it in the oven. But suppose something happens and I can't do that. So I'm following, you know, some of these tips. So I bought one hickory smoked ham and I will get a few, a couple more, maybe at least five. Because how many hams like out of the can are we really going to eat when we have so much other stuff? But I will have them if we need them. So thank you, my great subby. Then I had a bottle of vinegar back there. I will get a few more of those because I use that for a lot of stuff. It's a disinfectant. Um, you can also use it for uh, just regular cleaning. You can also use it in your laundry. So I will get more of that. I got two boxes of the grits and they say quick grits, but I'm hoping they're the regular kind that I normally cook because that's a, <laughs> the jar I'm putting them in. So we'll see how that goes. To go with the vinegar, I got a large um, baking soda because you can use that for a lot of things as well. I purchased one can of the pink salmon because I checked the cabinets before I went and I already had four. Um, I may get a few more, but what I'm going to do is fill out these cabinets and then I'm going to move into excess storage. And we're still working on getting that storage together. Um, I picked up, and I do not like this, but my husband does, um, two cans of the deviled ham spread. Uh, those will be that will be for him for sure and I picked up five cans of the sardines I picked up three of a different kind of quick uh, oatmeal these are different flavors and you can you know just kind of like the Roman noodles 
you can kind of do these right there in the little pouches. I picked up four things of the regular salt. And then I picked up seasonings. I told you guys that I use paprika, so I picked up two of those. There's two paprikas. And I picked up one cayenne pepper. There's a garlic salt. There's a seasoned salt. And seasoned salt I use a lot of, so I picked up three of those. So that's the seasoning, okay? Now that's the food stuff. And then I had to go to the drugstore today. I had my... Uh, my physical and got my flu vaccination and I also got one for uh, shingles and it was time to get some prescriptions refilled and it is time to do that so I went in I got three prescriptions and my inhaler uh, my preventive inhaler that I use every day for asthma I have I'm using one I have an extra but I also got another refill trying to get ahead of those um, Dollar General had these on these in stock. Pretty gray. I got two. Let me put this out of the way. Let me do it this way. Sorry, guys. I dropped them. Here we go. I got two of the dark gray hand towels. And they were $2 a piece. And then I got, how many are in here? One, two, five of the washcloths. And they were $5. So a dollar each. And they actually are, when you single them out, they're pretty thick as well so I got those I picked up um, from my CVS another um, toothpaste I checked my stash and I have three so that will make four um, they had the essential oils on sale two for ten so I picked up a eucalyptus and a clear a mental clarity I'm stocking up on meds as well so I got in the leave and this is a 50 count I also picked up another uh, floss dental floss and I'm going to do another um, run with this kind of stuff okay so had to take a break my grandkids call me you always stop for those for them right I think I mentioned that I, I bought um, some more of the uh, dental floss um, I bought a large Listerine that will make two um, I bought two of these in my last haul but this was the last one on shelf and I hadn't seen this since what Ooh, the beginning of the pandemic so I bought the last one that they had I also bought a hand sanitizer to keep here in the house just in case we don't have water. And speaking of that, I bought one, two, three, and there are two of each different kinds of wipes. Okay. I bought the CVS 72 count pre moistened wipes, and they are baby wipes. So I figure if they're good for a baby, then if you need to like wash your face or anything or your hands, you know, these would be great. I also bought two packs. Oh, let me say there was 72 each in, in, in this and they're the CVS brand. I didn't get anything expensive. I think if I remember correctly, they were $2.99 each. And CVS had these large size um, antibacterial hand wipes. So I bought two. They were $3.99 each. They also had, excuse me, the, the smaller version that you keep in your purse. And they're upstairs. I bought two of those and they were $1.29 each. So just, you know, to carry with or to have as extra, you never know. And then I bought the Flushable Moist Cleansing Cloth um, because they too can be used to wipe your, you know, your body. Let's say, you know, your underarms or whatever just in case we never know what we're going to run into now one of my another of my great subbies was reminding me about batteries and I wanted to let her know and I, I think I have her name listed on the shout out list um, that I have an abundance of the double A so she's right I could probably use another large pack of the double A and oops, then I need I definitely need some triple A. 
And where I'm really lacking are the um, C and D. Now this is for my, uh, the, the 9 volt I only use in my fire, uh, oh, what do you call it? The things in, you know, the alarms, the fire alarms. So I probably could get another couple of those and some C's and some D's for um, better for the uh, flashlights. Now we only have one flashlight that takes battery. The others are rechargeable. But I think we need uh, batteries for that flashlight just in case we don't have electricity. We're just getting prepared, right? So that's my haul, um, my second haul. I think I've done okay this time. I'm, I'm moving out of the kitchen somewhat and into other areas. Something else that, that we, we purchased that um, is not here because when Orlando brought it home, he put it together and then he put it under the stairs. He bought a storage shelf. And it, a short one, I think it had three shelves to put under the stairs. And he put it together and put it under the stairs before I could show it to you guys. I'm not even sure what it costs, but they have them at Dollar General because I know that's where he got it from. He also bought extra um, paper towel and uh, bathroom tissue again. And he put that under the stairs as well. So we're, I couldn't show that to you guys. So what I'm mo moving to next is getting this... this um, spice cabinet together i think what i'm going to do here's my plan i'm going to take all the tall bottles and put them on the top shelf and i'm going to put the um put things in these types of bottles and put my overflow up top that's my plan if i can make this the small cabinet work to do that if not i will find space um in my pantry for my overflow bottles but i'm going to try that first to put what I need and what I use, you know, what I need down here in these bottles. I have some extra ones of those. And um, then put the big bottles up top. And again, if it doesn't work, I'll have to use my pantry. But that's my next step. And then my next step is to show you guys what I am, how I am storing in the pantry. Okay? Now, here are my shout outs, guys. Um, Todd has been very, very vocal. Um, on my last video and he um, reminded me to get bee balm and I was in the drugstore today and I didn't get it but I Todd just know I'm gonna get that he also had a lot of um, suggestions about growing your own you know and using weeds and certain things you know old school for remedies and that kind of thing which is a good idea I'll have to get more into that miss Kenyon reminded me to get um, Pepsid cold meds Gatorade and anti-diarrhea medication, which could all be necessary. And I think it was her that also suggested more Old Bay. I think it was Kenyon Bissett. And I can't keep quiet. Keisha suggested I get more crackers and ginger ale. Ginger ale is a good idea. And this week I've noticed that my Harris Teeter has, I think it's the 12 pack of cans for two for seven. So just know this, Miss Keisha, I will be picking up the ginger ale this weekend. Um, Tawanda suggested that I get a charcoal grill to go along with my propane stove because we have the gas grill out. We just need to get an extra can of gas. If you can even do that, I think you'd have to turn one in to get another, but we will check. We're full right now because we checked that this past weekend. And Miss Angela has suggested all sorts of storage ideas for me to store all this stuff that we're buying. So my subbies, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I thank you guys for helping me with this, for going on this journey with me, for making all these great suggestions. Um, let me turn the camera out in a while. You're talking to this food here instead of me. So I, I really appreciate you guys for doing that. I really, really do. Keep the suggestions coming and let's go through this journey together and let's all just get it together. How about that? So now we're going to do some fun stuff. I'm going to go into some boxes, okay? Let me set you down. Let's make sure you can see what I'm doing. These two boxes over here. So this first box, let me turn the camera down if I can so you can see what's in the box. Here we go. My, I have a friend, a really good friend, actually, 
who has gotten into Epicure. That's the name of it right here. And I'd never heard of it before her. They sell seasonings and healthy. It's all healthy. Like I ordered um, creamy pesto, Parmesan chicken, skillet sauce mix. All you, you need to add is the, um, the chicken. And look at how good that looks, guys. And you get the recipe. And when you order from them, they also send you an extra recipe. So I ordered two of those. And like I said, it's very healthy. Then I have a sweet garlic chicken seasoning. Look how good that looks. And it's on a bed of spinach. Yay. And like I said, it's all healthy. And it comes with the recipe. And I ordered two of those. Oh, see? I ordered three of the um, creamy, creamy Parmesan chicken. I I ordered three of each. Here we go. This one was hiding in the box. So I ordered three of each. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to have her come on and do a cook with me with, with all of us and tell us a little bit more about Epicure because all of this healthy stuff and it's packaged great. This stuff will last. I'm trying to see if there's an expiration date on this. How good is this for storing? It says you get four servings per container. It's dry. Um, let me see. All you need is the chicken, I believe. Yep. Chicken breast fillets. And then you add this. So wouldn't this, this is a great seasoning packet and it's a meal. So with what we're doing now, this should come in really, really handy. So I'm going to talk to her about coming to talk to us. Um, I'll do a live maybe. I haven't done one yet. It'll be my first. And we can discuss this new Epicure. So stay tuned for that. Also stay tuned for when I make those two um, recipes. Now we're going to get into my friend mail. Again, this is from my good friend Karen Jeter. She thought of me. How sweet. She has no idea how much this means to me. She really doesn't. I haven't seen what's in the box. I just used the knife before I got on camera to open the box. So let's see what I have in here. Oh, she knows me well. <laughs> All about fall, y'all. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. Fall is in the air. Oh, it's a sweet, it's a sweet, sweet card. Oh, Karen. This is sweet. Okay. And then there is... Uh-oh. It broke. I'm not going to take it out because it's broken and I don't want glass to get everywhere. But it was a mug and it said, Happy Fall, y'all. I hate it broke, but I appreciate you for sending it. Oh, wow. And then there is, oh, look at this. A spoon rest. Isn't that the cutest? It says, hey, pumpkin. Isn't that cute? She also sent, oh, there are two. Two dish towels that say happy harvest. They will be going up this weekend when I clean my kitchen and change out. Oh, so there were two mugs. One of them did not break, so I can take this one out. I think what she was thinking was she would send one for me and one for my husband. Because they're the same, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, so I'm thinking that's what she was thinking, but that's okay. He um, can drink out of the mug that we already have. <laughs> Let me see if I can open this and show you guys what it looks like. I didn't want to open the other because I didn't want the glass to get in there. Sorry, Orlando. For my tea. Isn't that cute? Thank you, Karen. Oh, my.
make sure that this paper oh wow she knows i love farmhouse too and it says pumpkin patch i think i'm going to fill this up and put a blankie or a pillow or something in there it has two handles orange on the inside with the deep burgundy truck with the um, pumpkins that is so sweet um this is actually guys i think that's why i'm so excited my um first uh, friends mail friend mail so karen honey thank you um I love you. I do. And I really, really, really appreciate it. You have no idea. I really do. What a surprise. And I don't check my mail over at the post office every week. Sometimes it's every two. Sometimes, depending on how I'm feeling, it's every three because there's not normally very much in there. So this was a great surprise today. I really, really appreciate it. So friends, I think we've done it all. We've done our shout outs. We've looked at, um, my new haul, I have opened my friend mail and this Epicure stuff, forget this. Um, I don't know much about it yet. Uh, my friend just started with this, but she is a foodie from her heart. She really is, she's a great cook. She even um, does some catering and she does the healthy catering where, where if you don't like cooking your own meal, she will prepare a week's worth of healthy and I'm not sure if she's low carb or low fat, which one she does, but it's one or the other. And prepare it for you and bring it to your home. And so she's really a foodie. So if she is really, really shouting out this company and has agreed to join, I would bet my, well, a few of my dollars that it's, it's worth it. And as I said, I think a good idea would be to have her come on our channel here and let's sit this down. Come on our channel here and maybe talk about Epicure, explain it because we're all trying to do this. I love the packaging. I love the fact that it's dry and I love the fact that we can store it because that's what we're doing now. I love the fact that you can just go in the freezer and get some uh, a few um, chicken breasts and that you've got a meal. Um, so I love the fact that it's small. The packages are, you know, small and easy to store. So we might just have her come on and talk about that soon. Let me know in the comments below if you would be interested in learning more um, about the products. They also have um, cookware. Um, and I think, I'm not sure, but I think some of it is the cast iron that you could use on a stove outside if we had to but we'll we'll get more into that let her explain it because i don't know much about it as much about it as she does i am or i ordered to support but i'm so pleased with the packaging and i know if she says it's tasty i trust her in that because like i said she's an she's an all-time foodie so so guys that's it i'm not going to hold you any longer i hope you have enjoyed um our second uh a installment of the prepper pantry at the cozy lifestyle with clarissa and i hope that it has given you some ideas my subbies are certainly giving me ideas so maybe they're if i share their ideas with you maybe that will help you as well so stay tuned because we'll be doing this we still have to do um more winter meds i'm going to go through that i have a basket upstairs that has all that in, so I need to do an inventory. I'm trying to do an inventory before I just go out and shop, uh, just off the top of my head. Um, I don't know if many of you know this, but I'm also an Avon rep, um, so I'm going to start ordering uh, my facial cleansers and um, my moisturizing or moisturizers and that my facials and all that kind of thing. I got that tip uh, from another YouTube sister, um, Denise Jordan from this and that with Denise Jordan. Um, she's doing this prepper thing and she is like way, way ahead of me, but you get tips from everybody. And, and I'm learning as I go, I'm learning as I go on this journey and take you with me. So we're all doing this together. So I love getting the tips from you guys. I love getting the suggestions and I hope that what I'm doing will help some of you as well. That's the plan. So with that said, you know what I'm gonna do. First, first what I'm gonna do, let me do this. 
I want to say to all my new subbies, I see you and I'm so glad you're here. You have no idea. You are really blessing me by just pushing that subscribe button and I appreciate it. For all my ride or dies, you guys already know how I feel about you. I love you. I love you. I love you. And you guys have been coming with me on this journey since I've been here and I am so grateful. Truly, truly grateful for that. And for all of you guys, if you're new here and you haven't yet joined um, our little community, community here, hit that subscribe button below. And once you do, also hit that bell so you'll be notified of all upcoming content. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this little family. We are helping each other. We are growing together. We are going through this journey together. We are decorating. We are DIYing. We are cleaning. We are cooking. And as you can see, we are prepping. So join us and be a part of our community. Why don't you? We'd love to have you. So with that said, I'm going to leave you the way that I always do. I'm going to remind you to do something today that brings joy to your life. We all need a little joy. Find it. Find something that brings you joy every single day. And remember that I'm leaving you with hugs and blessing and lots and lots of love. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.